I'm Brian Fuller, Editorial Director of EE Life. You guys have been great about sending in your engineering practical jokes that we've been posting in the last couple of weeks. We're here at DesignCon 2011. Figured we'd go around and, uh, and talk to some old friends about the practical jokes that, that they played. And so we're, we're with Lee Ritchie of Speeding Edge, his own uh, consulting company in uh, Signal Integrity. Um, Lee's been around the industry for uh, many, many years. Well, I, I tell my students I started when they made boards from rocks. Boards from rocks. Print circuit boards from rocks. So um, anyway, he's got a couple of practical jokes that he's going to uh, regale us with. Um, fire away, Lee. Well, they weren't on colleagues, as I told you. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is uh, early in my career I worked at Ford Aerospace and there were insane amounts of paperwork involved in buying parts. And I and a cube mate didn't think that they were necessary or that anybody cared. So one day we decided to uh, order a set of tires for his car to see if anybody checked. And about three weeks later, four tires show up in the microwave lab and they don't fit on any of the microwave equipment. So we had to hide the tires for a couple of weeks or three weeks or so, uh, hoping we didn't get caught. And uh, could, I mean, what do you do with tires on microwave lab? No and kidding. So, so one night we, we snuck them out and threw them over the fence and put them on his car. But, but it, it, this, the, maybe the part, part of the story that is significant to me is that nearly all that paperwork people put in place to, to keep us from wasting money is worthless. It just wastes the money itself. I and know. then I did it another time. Uh, I was off in a site way up in the Himalayas in Pakistan where we were launching U2s. And we had to order our own parts to fix things. So I had the entire parts catalog for the Air Force, which included a part number for a B-52. And I noticed that there was a part number for Ford Station Wagon. And again, I didn't believe anybody cared about or looked at these forms I filled out. So I ordered the station wagon, thinking it wouldn't show up. About a month later, a blue station wagon shows up out front, and I can't tell anybody how it got there. And so here's this pretty brand new Ford station wagon, on, and the, I don't believe there was a, another station wagon in all of Pakistan. <laughs> so it's probably still there. It's probably still there. It probably is. And our CO was uh, had a better car than the president of Pakistan as a result of this stunt. <laughs> but but uh, once again, it, it, and it's still true. Most of all that stuff people are doing, our government's doing to keep us from wasting money, just waste money. Complete waste of time. Yeah.